In the next five minutes, I'm gonna show you two tools that's gonna change the way you learn and consume information. If you're a student, you're in academia, you're a researcher, you're an educator, these tools are gonna make your life 10 times better. Wow. I'm learning so much. Ever since AI has gone mainstream since 2022, Google has been on the back foot. Catch up. But they might have finally cracked the code and hit a home run with this one. The first tool we're talking about here is called Notebook LM by Google. To access this tool, you gotta go to notebooklm.google. I think it's available in most countries, but if it's not available where you are, you may have to use a VPN to do so. You can't let this stop you. The classic Google way, it's free to use. There are two things you need to know about Notebook LM. First, it's like chat GPT for studying, except like there's no hallucination. All you gotta do is like upload all your knowledge sources. It could be files from Google Drive, Google Slack, you can upload PDFs, you can just copy paste text, you can add a website, you can add a link to a YouTube video. So like whatever the knowledge base is, you just add all the knowledge bases to one of your notebooks. Um, and then you can add up to 50 knowledge sources. So that's like a lot of information right there. And now when you chat with this, it's gonna pull the answers only from that knowledge source. So it's not gonna try to make up information. So like, you know, the chat GPT when it hallucinates and all that stuff. As a professional, you can upload all your meeting notes and ask like, hey, what were the main concerns from July meeting? And you're gonna get answer for that. So it's kind of like your assistant, but here's the coolest thing you can do. Honestly, life gets in the way and you may not have time to read all that stuff all the time. What you can do is you can either copy paste the text from any paper you want to read, any knowledge sources. You're going to see this uh, thing called audio overview. Just hit generate. Now it's going to turn all the papers, all the knowledge source that you added into a conversation between two hosts, like a podcast style. So instead of spending an hour reading a paper, you can just go and walk your steps in while listening to the whole conversation. It sounds really natural. I'm going to share the demo real quick here. All right. So we're diving into this new IPCC report and wow, it's a lot to unpack. I mean, everyone's talking about it and for good reason. This report is like the big leagues, the all-star team of climate science came together to say, Here's the deal, folks. It really is the most comprehensive assessment we've got. And one thing that really hit home for me was, well, the human cost of it all. It's not just numbers and graphs anymore, you know? And the other things you can do with all your knowledge you're adding is you can, you know, create a study guide. You can do FAQs. You do a timeline. So when you do a timeline, it's going to like take all the information. It's going to resummarize the whole content based on the time, what happened when. And of course, if you're a researcher, you want to go through a bunch of papers that for your research, throw these papers in here, get a podcast, get a summary and see if there's something worth exploring or not. Or if you're an educator and you want to build a course plan, again, put your stuff in there, listen to it, get the summary, ask the AI to build a course plan for you, the outline and all that stuff. It's all done for you in seconds. Honestly, like, you know, the content I've tried, uploading, the summary, the audio podcast, everything, the results have been super great and it's free. So like, there's really nothing to complain about here. Okay, moving on to our second tool. So second tool is called Map This, and it's like a paradise for visual learners. Anyone who just loves visualizing the knowledge, the content, understands things better when things are presented more visually, you're gonna love this one. It's super simple. Whatever topic you're trying to learn or study or like, you know, trying to condense and whatnot. If you're like a medical student, you get a chapter on heart attack, throw the notes in here in the section, click map this. Now you have a mind map generated for the entire chapter on the paper. You have the topic in the center, then you have different notes for different topics with different colors. So it really like summarizes the whole content into this visual, which is super useful for like, you know, retention and learning. Print it out, export it, you know, put it in your wallet if it's something you want to memorize. Let's say you got a PDF, you're trying to like, you know, I mean, this is for a grant that I wanted to apply for and I wanted to see like you know what's going on in this I didn't want to read the PDF or maybe like you know your teacher you want to do a study plan you kind of want to see what topics and chapters you might want to add to it what you can do is just upload the PDF and again instead of a mind map this time pick a flowchart now the whole content is turned into a flowchart which is like all logically structured so instead of like trying to go through the documents over and over again trying to read and find information you have a visual summary of how things are working and connected to each other through this flowchart of course, both these tools are AI, so you don't want to be overly reliant on them. These are like not to replace the human work and effort, but just to aid it, to help save time, be more efficient. So when you feel like reading, you can just only spend time reading the fun stuff and not the school or work stuff. Let me know what you think. What are the other use cases which we haven't discovered yet? Drop them in the comments. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more AI stuff. That's going to save you a lot of time. See you next time.